Uh, welcome to the, I don't know what to call this thing, podcast, whatever. I think we settled on youth talk. Youth, talk? youth talks. C- couch sessions. Youth talks. It was going to be couch couch convos, pineapple pizza podcast. There it is. And now, because we simplify everything, youth talks. Hey. So welcome. Love it. For anyone that doesn't know, what, what do you do here? What do I do here? I am the Fruitville Campus Youth Director here which nice. is an awesome position. Yeah. It started last um, December, so it's been six months. My favorite, um, I don't know, this wasn't my introduction to you, but it was a introduction. And you walked into the first mega meeting, and you're like, hey, I'm Thai, I'm Asian, yeah. and that was it. And yeah. I'm like, everyone was like, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yes, uh, yes. Good at 100%. stating facts. <laughs> um, so you're going to take me out to get um, Vietnamese food soon. We yes. just talked about this yes. off air. I'm excited. What do I? What should I expect? Man, you should expect just, it's going to be electric. Electric? Electric nice. in your mouth, though. You know? I, I, so yeah. I recently was in a group chat. Um, I was talking to Erica about this. We... Jamie, I was like, I had to preface, Jamie is not pregnant. That being said, I asked our families, what do you think if our first child was named Electric Han? Because a couple people recommended that to me. Yeah. I was like, it was a 50-50. I was like, it could be Ellie as a nickname there you or go. Eli, there you go. the gender. Yeah, yeah. Electric's gender neutral, bro. For sure. Like, like, can I just need imagine every day, electric! Like, <laughs> <laughs> Come so on. Funny, so. um, but yeah, no, I'm excited to um, You talk have my vote for electric. Electric. Right, electric cool. con. I'll let Jamie yeah. know. Yeah. She's going to be the one that's <laughs> so far the hardest to convince. Maybe middle name will be allowed. Kyle electric con? I don't think we're going to name our kid Kyle. No, no Kyle. Well... Someone did also recommend like it could be you could do like electric Han, Kylie Han, mm. and then if we and then I don't know that's I guess we just have two. I don't yeah, know. yeah. So I guess that's <laughs> just, it. But. Just a boiling a girl and then call um, it a day. So Ty, um, question for well, first of all, you're moving. I am very soon. Very soon. When? At the end of June. Oh, not so that June thirtieth. Um, I mean, closing we can't, on our house. Not to date the show, but that is a month from now. Roughly. A month, yeah, roughly, almost. So. All right, congrats. So Where that's, are you going? that's like worst case scenario. So it could oh, be okay. sooner. Nice. Um, we're going to, um, we're actually building a house. It's like a two year process. It's oh, been a two okay. year process. Yeah. So a lot of patience. You know, we, lo- <laughs> we all love that word, patience, but it's like yeah, the finish line. Too. So um, talk me through what are we drinking here? So I'm drinking a grande shaken um, blonde espresso, uh, no classic, three pumps of white mocha. Um, so, this so is at, like my you're, drink. you're a former Starbucks I employee, am, I am. barista. You yes. Say. Does this not make you so mad when someone orders a drink like that? This looks like so custom. Um, or it depends really. on what drink it is okay. because this drink is pretty easy to make. Okay. So all you do is just put ice in a shaker. You put the shots. You put the pumps. You shake it up, and then you um, pour it into the cup. Okay. So that th- this is easy. So it looks like a lot, but it's what's easy. like the hardest thing to make? Oh my god! Like what um, makes frappuccinos you for sure. And then there's like Maverick. C- and Maverick. Oh, you frappe. guys like? Oh Fra- my god! I heard also that like you guys do not like it when they're called frappes. No, so like <laughs> Starbucks, <laughs> like we're trained on not to say frappes or fraps because I guess Starbucks pays for the for word the like word frappuccino. frappuccino. <laughs> so it's like that's in trading. It's like do not say frappe. But when I was working there, when there would be new um, baristas, I wouldn't mind. I would just yeah. you know make a joke out of it. But some okay, people are like boy. serious. <laughs> like we don't say frappe. <laughs> it's like. Starbucks cuss words. Yeah. Can't say it. Yep. Nice. All right. So I have a iced vanilla latte, almond milk. Hey, basic. basic, right? Yeah, yeah. Good basic, though. Yeah. No, like, so I'm not like, there's You're not like white girl basic. Like, th- there's like Ryan Bialzi. I'll put him out there right now. Like, put him on blast. Ridiculous. And he works at Starbucks. So I yeah. guess he's allowed to do this, but he would just get ridiculous drinks. I'm just like, there's also a secret menu that you can yeah. look up. And I like, didn't know if that was ever real or if people were just being like. It is. Well, like okay. we'll have like people come through the drive-through or something. Like, hey, I'll get a Nutella latte, 
and we'll be like, well, if you know the ingredients, we can make it for you, but we can't just make a Nutella latte. Like, yeah. no one knows what that is, but <laughs> it's basically one pump of mocha. So you pretty much, like, you're yeah. you're inventing the drink. Exactly. It's not a secret exactly. menu. You're like, yeah. all right, I'll have a Skittles, like, refresher or right, something. Right, right. It's like, well, if you have the ingredients, I mean, if you have the recipe, we can make it for you, but... Dude, that's amazing. I'm gonna, like, I wonder like if anywhere else would you like. Can you go to Chick Fil A and be like, I would like a mac and cheese chicken salad sandwich. I <laughs> like, bet you, bro, I bet you every restaurant has like a secret menu that you can like look up. Yeah, I want to try that. Like, you should. <laughs> you should. Cool. So, um, question for you. I ask the same thing to um, most people. Um, just so I, I, I've heard a little bit of your testimony, but just like. Um, for the sake of this, um, I don't know, again, podcast, I don't know, question mark, um, but whatever. Um, give me like the elevator pitch version of like the story of, you know, how Ty found the Lord hmm. or maybe vice versa, how the Lord found Ty. Yeah, no, that's it's, that's uh, so growing up, did not go to church at all. Um, went to church, I mean, went to Catholic church, right? No, yeah. Nothing on Catholic church, but it just wasn't for me. Yeah. Um, but we went on like like the big holidays, Mother's Day. You know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, Christmas, you know, those things. And then when I got old enough, I was like, I'm not going. Um, I think where my life turned for the worse was when my dad passed away when I was 12. So mm. my dad, dad passed away when I was 12. I knew yeah. there was a God. Um, if there was a good God like that I learned in school, in Sunday school, it's like, well, this isn't good, right? This yeah. doesn't feel good. So I'm like, so I just put all my frustration, anger towards God. Right, so like I did everything that I could to run far as as far away, and that got me to, you know, just a deep dark place. Got arrested, um, sitting in Sarasota, Sarasota County Jail for like a week, like ten mm-hmm. days, um, and that was when like God began to you know kind of pull me in. Um, my brother helped me out, bailed me out, went to live with him. They were like already you know walking with Christ and got me involved in church, and then. That was when I really felt um, like I, I began to, to learn about, like, this God that is good, mm-hmm. that can turn, like, you know, anything yeah. bad for good, that he loves me, mm-hmm. that I, I still have a purpose. So um, through that journey, gave my life to Christ one one random Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it's it's, all, it's been a journey up and down. But, like, I can, I can yeah. honestly say now that, like, everything that I've experienced, everything that I went through was for a purpose. Because yeah. now I have, like, a different perspective right yeah. now, like... Yes, I have lost someone mm-hmm. young, right? So that's why I just love youth ministry and student ministry so much because if a student comes and has the same feelings yeah. or the same experience, I can be like, yo, I know. I know those feelings. You know what I mean? Like it, it, yeah. God can use that if you allow him to. So nice. that's the elevator. Yeah, I like that. Um, testimony. What? Um, so not growing up in church to like having like a wild, um, you know, ending up in jail, living with your brother. Like what was... I guess, like, the process of, like, becoming, you know, go, transitioning from that to, like, I go to church now, and, like, I'm a Christian. Like, what's that? What was that like? It was pretty wild, you yeah. know, like, like it was I it, like, think weird? Cause I, it was, I don't know, really like, weird. I, be, well, being raised in the church and, like, working in church now, I'm just like, we got to feel, we got to seem so weird to, like, outside people that sure. are just, that like. so weird. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> when I moved in with my brother, and then he had two roommates, there were a couple that were married, like, they didn't have they didn't have a TV in the living room. And I thought that was like the craziest thing. Cause like for me, like entertainment, like just getting my mind off things, Everything, using it right? as yeah. escape. <laughs> so like they live like this life that was like slowed down, that was like not rushed. And for me, like for my whole life, like most of my life, I was, I, I was rushing to the next thing, just trying to get my mind off of the pain and everything. So like that was just like a whole different thing that I was like, whoa, like. Uh, my my crazy. anxiety just spiked when you said no TV in the living room. I was like, <laughs> right, bro. what do you do? Do you sit bro. there and talk? Like, bro, what? That is I'm weird, right? <laughs> the one thing that, that was so beneficial, though, was, like, like they discipled me. And I didn't even know what the word disciple yeah, was at the time. At the time yeah. But, like, we would have Bible studies, like, every single night. We would read, like, a chapter. We started from, you know, like, every um, new Christian. We started in John, Yeah. right? So yeah. read, like, a chapter or two a night talked about it i had like this journal that i actually found recently and going through it like because they're like you know that's cool bro they're like hey did you start reading it and just ask like just start asking questions all right and then like i felt i one of the first questions that i saw and there was like why did god turn um simon 
uh, Simon's name to Peter, like mm. that kind of stuff, yeah, like yeah. you know, like just new Christians, just like wondering. And but like it was really cool thinking back, and then it just brought me back to that place of like, man, like that's really cool. Of like when I when God I read the Bible, God. I still sometimes write things down where I'm just like, why did this yeah. happen? Like I, right. I I can't think of an example, but I still will write them down to like someday ask, like you know, if I'm ever around for sure. Pastor and, B or something. <laughs> like that. Really weird, but <laughs> why Random did you question. have to do that? You know, so, uh, that's I think cool, what though. the the cool thing about journaling too is like prayers, right? Because yeah. you can look back and be like, "Whoa, that's an answer prayer. Mm-hmm. That was an answer prayer. That was like mm-hmm. word." You know, so it was really cool, just like having. I, I think that's so important. One of the um, things that I think um, God gave me to like do this year, which sounds like super spiritual, but it's not. It's not as deep as like um, like the word because I'm not usually one of those people that's like. The what's Kyle's word for 2022? My wife Jamie every year, like, <laughs> some, but I'm just like, okay, my, yeah. my word. But I know, like, the word altar, mm. like, for whatever reason, repeated wow. itself to me a bunch in the Bible I was reading and some things where I was like, all right, this is not like just a coincidence. Um, and so it's just like, I, I, I don't, you know, I'm whatever, almost halfway into the year, I still haven't figured out exactly, but I think go to just the importance of like recognizing what God has already done in your life. Cause mm. like it can be very quick or very easy to just like skip past yeah. it and just like, and then when things get hard, you're like, what the heck God. And there's like, you don't realize like all the little, little miracles that have like led you sure. to where you are today. So I agree. Like, yeah. Altar, huh? Altars. Wow. Build, that's, like, it's, that's, you know, that's cool. It, the, um, especially as we were going through, oh uh, gosh, what was it? Yeah, I think it was Exodus, where, like, after every major victory, like, they built an altar, and, like, to remember. Mm, um, okay. And so and so it was, like, not necessarily, like, building an altar to sacrifice, but, like, building something to, like, honor God for every yeah, little yeah. thing he's done. You know, um, that's funny. My mind didn't go to that yeah, altar. Yeah. It went to, like, <laughs> altar, like, like. Transform. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Well, that's a cool. Yeah. But altar is cool too, though. Yeah, no, so that, that's why that came to mind whenever you're talking about like writing down yeah, and yeah. seeing the promises of God like fulfilled. So good. Because um, I just never really like focused on that a ton. Then I'd be like, oh man, I guess there are a lot of things that like I don't necessarily always like recognize and like thank God for in the moment. Sure. Um, that kind of then can get forgotten if you don't build something to remember it by. Yeah, so, that's so good. Uh, speaking of like this, um, what is, because everyone's is different, so I think it's always like good to hear like different uh, contexts and different like things. What does your like time with God look like? Like do you have like some sort of morning routine? Do you like, what? Yeah, what's that look like for you? For me, um, I don't have a morning routine right now, to be honest, right? Just kind of get up and with two kids, you're just so hit that, the ground that's running. That's your morning routine? Yeah, my morning children. routine is that, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing that um, my, you know, our, our leadership and my direct report, Pastor mm-hmm. Tracy at Fruitville Campus, like, you know, he always, um, he always reminds me and he always challenges me to like actually, you know, put time with God on my calendar, mm-hmm. right? Because here at Bayside, like we're, we're calendar driven. So if oh, it's yeah. not on my calendar, <laughs> yep. then I won't do it. But like, mm-hmm. I just, I, you know. That's if, just conventionalism. For sure. If you, if you're, <clears> if. For anyone that's listening, if you don't yet live by your calendar, just wait. Yeah. There will be a day. Yes, where there will be. That is the most important app on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but for me, it looks different too. Because, like, I think going into it um, at the beginning, I thought I had to read the Bible every single day. Mm-hmm. And I and it just became a check mark, you know, mm-hmm. like on the, the Bible app yeah. where it's like just How days many in a row. Continuous days. Exactly. Right now? Um, but now it's like it, it just changes every day. Where I got the, so wh- mad when it would restart on January Bro. one. <laughs> I was just not that I had three sixty five going. Yeah. I was just like my streak. Right, right. <laughs> it's probably like a right. Days and it becomes something. more about the streak <laughs> yeah. than about God, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like, like oh, I guess that's what I'm doing this for. <laughs> right, right. Um, but for me, it's like it could be one day just listening mm-hmm. to music, or one day reading a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, like because I'm reading a, right now. I'm reading How to Worship a King. Okay. which is a really good book. It's like a worshipful book, but it yeah. can be just like a lifestyle book. But like, so that or like listening to big a reader? podcast. Um, I I would like to think so, but no. Dude, like, same, I'm in the same as I yeah. like, I I have like seven books right now that I've started. Right. And like 18 on my list. <laughs> but like <laughs> making myself read is yeah. a freaking discipline, dude. Like I have to make myself. Right. But dude, the last book that I read, 
Own the Moment by Carl Lentz. Mm. It was actually a really good book. I read I mean, it so a couple of years ago, I think. There is, I loved how it was just like little stories yeah, yeah. Much throughout the whole thing. And I just love his heart. You can yeah. tell his heart for people, like in spite of all, everything. Like it's yeah, the heart. That was so the there. focus. Was, right. Um, like I love the, there's so many good stories in yeah. the book. Like um, that I'm just like, I, I like that what he wrote in that is like really um, the opposite of like religious religion. Sure, sure. Like by a lot. Like he made some people like mad by like how he like, it's like you let them come sit in church. It's like, sure. yes. Yeah. Like, That's what Jesus that would is do. <laughs> what, like that is the point. Right. I mean, I love um, in our, in our meeting yesterday, um, hearing a couple people talk about like some students that like came into like midweek, like, um, right after um, smoking weed, yeah. And like, you know, hey, don't smoke weed no, if do you're not. Getting, like, not not why it's against the law, but yeah, you, you get it. But um, we want our youth groups to be a place where everyone's welcome, sure. Um, because you know, it's about that's what it's about. For so, sure. I mean, um, I'd rather have yeah. a student smoke weed and then come to church than smoke weed and then and drive and do come, something stupid. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, absolutely. So again, if you're listening, this is not an endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> no. Don't pregame do like midweek, but <laughs> but if you uh, do, no. come to midweek after. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say this? Stuff? But um, no, I love it. I, I no, I I think that does have to be like that. It, I mean. Again, if anyone has an issue with like that, look, free, read what Jesus, the people Jesus hung out with. Like it was not like church kids. For like, sure, for he sure. He was in some circle. That's why like all the religious people got so mad. Um, and so I think that like yeah, whatever we can do to not be the Pharisees. Definitely. Like let's try Definitely. to do that, right? Right. Because those are the people that made Jesus the maddest. Like it wasn't the sinners. It was right. the people that thought they were so holy. Mm-hmm. Um, and as a result, like did the opposite of loving so good. the people yeah. that needed love. Right. So. And I, I joke with our team all the time. I'm like, I know it's, you know, like I'm like our, our youth group, there should be some F words thrown around by these kids, right? Like mm-hmm. there should, you know, just jokingly, yeah, yeah, but not yeah. jokingly, right? It's like, we should feel uncomfortable at times, mm-hmm. but that that's when we know that we're reaching the right kids, mm-hmm. right? Because like, it's not just people that exactly don't say right the things they're not supposed to say. Yeah. You know, so. So I, like I, I got a question for you, oh. Kyle Hahn. Is this allowed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hit me. How's marriage? How's Good. marriage going? Like what? Three months in? Good. Three, two months. Two months. There you and go. And some days it'll be three months and like I'm not good at days. What's today? Today's what the twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. So I would say. Yeah. Anyway, it's like. Between two and three months, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, so, what was what is one thing that you thought was going to be hard, but it turned out to be pretty easy? But what was one thing that you thought was easy that was like, oh, whoa, that that's not easy. Um, I know that's a loaded question, but I, I think something that I thought would be hard and is to give you a third option there is um, the transition from like making all my own decisions up here and not yeah. having to communicate anything yeah. to people. So like I'll make this whole plan and then be like, oh, by the way, this is what I'm thinking. And then Jamie will be like, I'm not feeling that. And I'm like, I never even considered that like <laughs> that you would say that, that might yeah. be an option. Like, <laughs> and so yes. like the other, well, the other day I was like planning this like road trip, like for like our vacation. Like we have some time off after Christmas. And so I'm like, dude, we're going to do this road trip. And it's going to be like, we're going to go up there, like all the way over here. We're going to take all this time off. And like, I'm like explaining to Jamie, I'm like, I want to do a road trip to blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, I really don't like spending a ton of time in the car. And then I was like, well, for a road trip, that is going to be an issue. <laughs> so there's like, it's like, so just like getting used to like having the mental dialogue I have with myself to plan. Sure. But like also remembering that like now I like consult. Like, I don't want to say, like, have to, like, in, a, like, a negative way, but, like, I need to, like, consult her on all these, like, decisions because they sure. affect all our time and sure. stuff. So uh, I would say that is one of the things that I anticipated being different and ha- has been di- different. But overall, I mean, like, it's it's been great. Um, I love, like, not having to, like, leave each other's house at, sure. like, 1 a.m. Yeah. Every, like, in, like... You know, it's just like you watch a movie and then you both fall, like you're like out of it. And it's like, 
gotta drive home now. Yeah. So just like even just like a convenience of like just always being able to hang out without having to um, drive home at like one a.m. is lovely. Yeah, that's um, a great segue to my next question. Okay. I don't mean to cut you off, yeah, but go. like so like when you're dating, how do you how do you honor God? Right, like you just mentioned, like okay. just yeah. leaving. Oh uh, like yeah, not, leave, but, yeah. Well, that was a that was um, a funny question for the youth asked for it series. That I don't know when this will go out, but we might, it'll probably have already come and gone, but one of the questions that came in was, how far is too far? Yeah. It's like, how do we even... <laughs> That's like, the wrong question, by the way. If you're asking that question, you've already <laughs> failed. You probably <laughs> have gone too far right now. Um, I, I think that... Um, I mean, it's cute to say, like, we're gonna, like, establish all these guidelines and boundaries, because, but, like, I don't know. I don't think that ends up... You should do that. I... We more kind of, like... I don't know, like we didn't do that. No, we we went into it both with the same goal in mind. Cause like at the end, at the beginning, like we already kind of like knew like there is a chance this ends in marriage. For I, sure. I don't think you should date anyone if you can't see yourself marrying. That's right. And Amen. If you don't know that you could have a plan that like if in dating them, you know, you like if in a couple months I know or yeah, whatever six months, I know they're the one that you can actually do something about it, right? So right. if you're not at that spot in your life yet, then again, because I like, I, you know, I've probably a thousand people have quoted this, so I don't know who I could give credit to it, but a relationship will end in a breakup or a marriage. Like yeah. those are the two options. So, right. It's your um, quote now. So we, we both went into it knowing like with that mindset and um, as a result, like we weren't, like there to just like mess around like it was yeah. like this could be forever so we're not gonna like try to like screw it up by trying to you know do stuff outside the will of god so That's so good what what that mean i mean you know like i think it all can go back to um because like where it is going too far and where does lust where does all that come from it comes from like our natural desire to want to have sex right right, right. and so we pretty much were like we're not going to do that until marriage. That's yeah. what the Bible calls us to. There's all, all, tons of stuff you can talk about, soul ties, everything like that. Right. But, um, but like, it was like, hey, we're making this commitment. So uh, anything that would lead us down that road, we're going to avoid. Yeah, so, that's so good. Um, it, yeah, I guess we didn't like necessarily put like specific rules like – like some people have like your feet have to always be touching the ground <laughs> on the couch. When we didn't do yes. any of that, but we were like, all right, we're not going to be like – you know, like we're not gonna be in our room, like whatever, in bed with no one home. Like we're not. We're just gonna, um, you know. I guess just use like as much wisdom as we could. And sure. For us, we're both like um, pretty seasoned believers that like grew up in church, and we both worked at a church at the same time. So we're we were both pretty like I don't know firm in our convictions. So like. We, we, I don't know. I guess, like, we kind of knew we were going to be okay because we both believe, like, we're so, pa like, not passionate, but, like, we were so vehemently, like, decided that we were going to wait. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we just, we were wise. We didn't put ourselves in situations where, you know, the flesh would be able to just, like, take over, yeah. I guess. And, and I'm so. sure you had a community around you guys, too, yeah, right? I mean, like, like yeah. I lived with, like, four guys. So it's like, <laughs> it was yeah. like and, then, yeah. and then when we were at her house, her family's there. So, mm -hmm. like, I guess, like, the position that we were in was always going to be, like, mo for the vast majority around people. Right. Like, hold you accountable and stuff. For sure. But I think that, like, yeah, I think that because we were going into the relationship with the right mindset, what I think is the right mindset for dating and relationships that set the stage for everything else to be just, you know, using wisdom and stuff. Yeah. So, that's so good. Yeah. And I think instead of asking like how far is too far, we should ask, Hey, what's, how do I honor we, God? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's the goal? Right. Here, exactly. So. Yeah. Man, um, because I, feel like I need to ask you. Questions no, well for me <laughs> that just on that subject, yeah. cause like I've done it both ways, mm -hmm. right? I've, I've dated and I've done things and I've gone too far yeah. uh, in the past, right before Christ, and then dating what dating Chanel, who's my wife now. Like she was like we were like the total opposite. Like she okay. was saved when she was like nine, ten years old, yeah. going through churches, and I joke around all the time. She's like while she was going on mission trips and helping helping people, I was out partying and yeah. drinking and chasing mm -hmm. kegs. You know what I mean? But yeah. like it's funny how God puts that together. But like I had to learn too, right? Because like I for my whole like 
teenage life and part of my adult life going into my 20s and stuff, I was like, I didn't care. Yeah. Right. I was like, whatever, this feels good or whatever I want to do. I'm just going to pursue that. But like having to just, because I knew that she wasn't messing around. Like we were a little bit older when we got married. Right. I was like 25. She was like 27, 24, but (laughs) old nowadays. I'm 24. Yeah. Um, so I was just a year behind you. Yeah. Yeah. So like she knew what she wanted Mm -hmm. and I kind of knew what I wanted because I'm like, dude, this is different. Like Mm -hmm. she doesn't, you know, yeah. she ain't messing around. Yeah, but like yeah. she already knew, so I felt like, okay, well, let's 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 try to do this right. But it was yeah. more of like the community and like leadership and friends around us yeah. helping and like kind of keeping us accountable, right? Um, I I I like using the word accountable, but yeah. I don't because like you you can't like you can't put all the responsibility on your accountability partners to yeah. do stuff for you, right? They're there to just help you, mm-hmm. but like don't. And so, so I, I think like, one of the things that I was like struggling to say with the right words, but I think is, um, is make sure that like your heart is right. Like in those kind of things, yeah. because, uh, cause I'm not like discounting boundaries, but like boundaries only mean something if there is a belief in a morality behind That's the boundaries. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you can't just be like, get into a relationship and then be like, all right, these boundaries are, and then now I'm going to go at, up against these boundaries, yeah, right? That's so, it's yeah. like, that shouldn't be the it, as if your heart and your like convictions don't match that, then you're not gonna stick to them, and they're not gonna matter. So yeah, I guess, I think that's what I was trying to say is like, um, how far is too far? Like if yeah, like let's not worry about that. We need to worry about like, hey, do we have a healthy view on like what marriage is supposed to be? Do we know what we want with our lives? Like, and um, you know, the whole I li- I like the like. Are you becoming the person that the person you want to be with wants to be with? Like yeah, kind of that's thing. good. I'll so, preach. Yeah, so, um, I like it. What um, segue? What's your favorite romantic comedy? I'm kidding. Romantic. What, what, what's your favorite? What What do you watch on Netflix right now? Anything crazy? Or are you Netflix, Netflix right now? I'm are you Disney Plus. Are we allowed to be a Disney Plus? I don't know. Are we allowed right now? I mean, I don't know. no comment. I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> um, Netflix right now. We're not watching our. We we watch YouTube more. Okay. So we like we yeah. like food shows. Oh, okay. So there's this guy named y'all Sonny. Big, y'all big like cook like into yeah yeah. And stuff? I, I'm big into cooking. Like nice. Chanel. Yeah, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. Um, no, but I, I like to cook. So okay. like I I just love cooking. She likes she Jamie, likes cooking too. Jamie, Jamie's a better cook than me. Yeah. I like cooking, um, but I'm more limited. I think of what I can make. She made these stuffed peppers like. Two nights ago, they were mm. really good. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. She's she's a good cook. Like she make like, I love. Um, so she made like a pot roast like in a crock pot the other day. Mm. It was like one of the most delicious things I've ever tasted. I, like I was like, and it's so awesome because it's so easy. You just set like, it I and get forget to it. Have you forever? To do like, <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Right. So, but but um, no, okay, food shows. No. Food shows. There's a there's a show called Best Food Review Show, like best ever sh- food okay. review show, and like he goes and travels. So like he was based yeah. out of. Um, Asia for a while, like he yeah. lived in Vietnam, but now he's like going to like. Have you seen any bro. of those like cake shows? Like, is it cake and like? Oh yeah, okay, uh, so okay, on Netflix, okay. Jamie will watch yes. those. Like, there's this show about chocolate where they mm-hmm. make like things out of chocolate, right? And then there's this is it cake where you try to like make things look real, but it's actually cake. Yeah. So I've seen some of those. No, for sure. I I, I I hacked into my friend's HBO account. Mm. Not hacked. They gave me the password. Is this allowed? I don't know. Yeah, you can share. I think there's, there's, you can share it. For 25 years. (laughs) But no, I watched the Batman finally. Oh. Dude, Mm. I liked it. It was so cool. I didn't expect to because I'm big Christopher Nolan and like Dark Knight, Christian Bale fan. But I just thought it it was cool. Like, it was a long movie and yeah. I heard it was more like Batman scenes than, um, what's it called? Bruce. Scenes is that the new one you're talking about with yes. David? Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was, um, which is good, cause, right? You know, but I do, I, I think he played the character well. That's what I hear. He wasn't too. like, he's kind of like you know, hey, this like, like young orphany kid. I don't know, but for me, it was like it was shot really cool. It was like dark the whole time, right? Like, cause you're a creative even guy, like, right? Even like you... the daytime scenes, it was like so overcast and stuff. So Jamie was just like loving it. Like the color palettes were great and That's stuff. Awesome. So we were like, this is amazing. <laughs> it was the best That's thing cool. ever. So, um, 
I have one um, one last question because we're almost on time. I think. Are we, man? This is nine minutes, bro. It doesn't so, even feel like it. Come on. Um, if you could put anything on a billboard for anyone, for like a bunch of people to see every day, what would you put on it? What message? Maybe Does it have to a, be a message? You could just put a picture of your face. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> what would you put on it? Um, I'd put a huge QR code. Okay. Linking to, Linking to my to Bayside youth on Instagram. Hey, <laughs> yes. No. Um, no, I think I, I would put, I don't know. See, that's Next youth, that's man, hard. we should take out a billboard and just put a QR code. That's what, so I, all right. So if Chanel's listening, I stole okay. that idea from her. Nice. Because she's like, man, for the next, like, if we have a big event like Christmas or something, we should just put a huge QR code. I tried to convince them to do that for Easter. Did you? Yeah. Bro. So, okay. Um, I don't know what I would put, actually, on a billboard. I have. I got to think about that. All right. Because, like... Think about it next time we talk. Yeah, yeah. That would be my what first would question. What would you... Have you thought about it? Or was that, like... Hey, I'm asking know? the question. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for hanging, bro. This was fun. Yeah, thanks, bro. Cheers. Thanks, Will. Sweet. Hey, bro. No, that was fun. Thanks. Yeah, and I, I can't believe that nice. was 30 minutes. <laughs>